time I'm going to take the same first action out of the pattern and go with the motions that are involved in that pattern. Okay? If he comes in with the punch, I could deaden the arm with this action here. Now the downward hammering strike, instead of going back into the arm, we're going to target head points. There's a point right on the corner of the mouth and at the jaw, it's called mental nerve. When you strike this, it causes complete dizziness and or unconsciousness. Okay? Right in back of the jaw, there's a pressure point called triple warmer sub T. If struck, this will cause dizziness and or uh, unconsciousness. It also causes physical dysfunction. All right, now, if his arm is coming in and I've taken this attack here, it's going to weaken his arm. As my downward hammering motion comes in, I'm going to take mental nerve here. As it turns, I'm going to now strike right into triple warmer. So you have very powerful attacks. So go with this arm first one second. So I've, I've come in with this attack here. You're going to turn the head on the mental nerve and expose the triple warmer 17, which you would step in. Now, there's a, it, there's a technique uh, or an idea in martial arts called one punch, one kill. Okay? Very difficult to kill a body with one punch. Okay? So, but what happens is if you multiply all these, you have a damage of serious potential damage. Triple warmer uh, 17 in particular ties into the cranial nervous system. So it's a very direct route into the, into the brain. So if I really like power in a punch with this, this can cause some serious, serious damage. Okay, so as the punch comes in here, I'm gonna lightly tap here, and you see the dizziness in the person. But as that nerve gets stretched out, just a little punch here, you're gonna see a lot of dizziness. If I put in the power that the form shows, I think you understand that you're gonna have a lot of potential damage and or unconsciousness at the very least. So again, the motion is one, two, and then you'd step right in with that, that power and punch. There's um, two valuable points in the body on either side of the ribs. They call liver number 14. Liver 14 on this side has to be struck down in a 45 degree angle like you're striking toward the kidney. Now instead of striking with the whole flat of the, the, the fist, which is going to be protected by the ribs, I want to dig a knuckle in and punch downward to cause the weakening and the spasming of the diaphragm. Now when I'm going through the pattern, my first hand position comes into this action. So as he comes in with the punch, I'm going to knock and punch at the same time, which is exactly what the pattern is showing us. So as he comes in with the punch, I'm going to punch, he's going to have some trouble breathing with this. Okay? At that point, I'm going to grab. Now, there's several different things we can do. We can grab again into nerves into the neck or the shoulder area to expose that and punch the back. Or you can take the same attacking motion here, strike into the body, okay, and expose yet another body point. Now let me show you how to spasm the diaphragm so we can stop the breathing or restrict the breathing. The diaphragm comes across the whole bottom of the rib cage. All right? When it's struck on certain pressure points, it causes the diaphragm to stop moving. When the diaphragm um, contracts, what it does is it pulls air into the lungs. As it expands or pushes up on the uh, air, lungs, it pushes air out. Now, if I stop its action, its muscle action, then the lungs can't breathe in or out. Now, when I strike it on one side, it's going to cause tightness of the, the diaphragm. If I double strike it, it's going to cause it to spasm and stop. So once I've come into this or if I've come into here, if I tap it down here, that can stop it. If I really want to mess it up, I'm going to hit it just the third time. So once again, he comes in with a punch. I'm going to punch, hammer, and punch. And that will make the breathing a little tougher. To rectify the breathing, we're going to hit it two points called spleen 17 to enable that lung, the diaphragm to push the air in and out of the lungs again. You can breathe again? Yeah. 
Now, okay, did you have trouble breathing before with the strike? Yeah. Yeah. 